buggy and rabbit squirrel. Okay, okay everybody. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got uh, Melissa here today. Again, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna ride her sled, so that's great. Um, we're actually gonna do a little bit of couples ride and Brody. Brody's kind of a fifth wheel, I guess. Um, we did a little bit of clutch work. Well, I guess Lance, Lance did a little bit of clutch work on Brody's little snow scoop, so hopefully that's operating better. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have Heather on the, the Polaris that Junior normally rides. And then Lance, of course, will be on his 9R. Melissa's gonna be on her Edge, her pretty white blue Edge. And uh, I'll be on the turbo. So we're gonna have some fun today, hopefully. And uh, it's supposed to have like a foot of new snow. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Do you want to say anything? Don't hit that truck. Don't hit that truck. Yes. <laughs> Watch the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost 200 subscribers, so thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys out there in the snow. Lance, what are you doing? All right, you gotta help out my buddy here because he's tried, well, you've tried letting him warm up completely before moving him at all. And then you've tried getting him off and ripping him around a little bit to make sure they don't load up. Yep. What else have you tried? Fuel settings, I ran it on the non-ethanol. Not this one, but my 2021. Ran non-ethanol setting. Ran the ethanol setting. They have pitch valve plugs for 1,700 miles. Yeah. You've had one dealer tell you, get off and rip it around, and the other dealer told you... Absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. Let it warm up completely to like one, what was it, 120 or yeah, something? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. And so yeah, if you guys have any idea what's going on, shoot a comment, help them out. So we're having a little bit of issues with the girls keeping the sleds cool on the way up. I hopped on uh, Lance's Polaris. I think that the turbo, even with the no mud flap, is keeping cooler than this Polaris in the top tunnel. So I put Heather on that, making it a little bit easier to ride up instead of land swapping back and forth like it was trying to keep the sleds cool. This thing has a high idle. It's really strange to let off and like on mine, you'll slow down and or stop. With the Polaris, you just keep on coasting. I think that is because of the higher idle. But from what I understand, that's normal. Sorry, it's a finger throttle. I threw her on that. I was like, all right, see you later. And I was like, oh, yeah, I completely forgot that it had the finger throttle on there. I'm sorry. back on but I'm in a carve and it and it grabs and then it releases and it grabs okay I'll be honest when I hop back on the sled I was like taking a while to get back used to this could do yeah it's I, I was like it, it's easy it's easier to hold that on edge. And again, I don't know if it's suspension or what, but Kevin better get me on a freaking Gen 5 soon. That's all I have to say. Right? <laughs> so pretty Underneath, but we gotta get 
You think you can go up that hill? Let's give it a shot. Just hammer down, man. He's got to go back more, I think. Come on. Push it further over. Yeah. Further over. There you go. Right go. there. While you're going. And give a push with your left foot. There he goes. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Nice job! Yeah, good job! can't get out of that then then I'm buying a Polaris <laughs> Consistent the rest of the way, I think. Yeah, that one, that 160 track, man, 165. <laughs> and then that would, you know, any discrepancy in riding style or body weight, I guess. Clutching track, everything, I don't know. You girls don't want to watch us climb out of this multiple times, huh? <laughs>
gonna be steep, steep. Hey, hey, hammer down and shake it. Oh. Oh no, no. Okay, Heather? Yeah. All right. Did you hit the brakes after it started to tip? Yeah. Yeah. You ride, you ride like bicycles or motorcycles? So if you if you stop on a bicycle, it's harder to bounce, right? Especially like if you're turning in the middle of turning a corner and you stop all of a sudden, you're gonna fall. So like in that, like if you just turn downhill a little bit and keep the track moving, then, then it'll be easier to bring back the balance. Does that make sense? So you just kind of, you absorb the tilt you absorb the tilt and then it comes back. <laughs> Woo! Too much traction, it's just too easy. Easy. Let's have the girls meet us over there. We'll do one more. <laughs> This is I was getting ready to follow Lance through here.
completely missed it. Ski's on it. Woo! Just gotta see if I can get moving. I don't know if I can get the track back enough. Say the same about the climb down or the the descent. 